Well, we are out here at the 2.4 hours of Lee Mullet's dream team. Woo! We have been so close to winning. Yes, we have. Every time. If you haven't seen the other ones of these races, we race Crown Vicks around the Freedom Factory Oval. The layout is contingent right now on how much it rains or continues to rain because it has been raining all day and it is cold. It's very unfortunate. -like. But me and Kevin have been really close to winning two of these 2.4 hours of way mullets. You know, I, I normally do the first stint, preserve the car, give him a good car. He leads the second and something always happens to him with either the last lap or a couple laps for the end. So we're switching it up this time. Yep. Hey, it's going for the second stint this time and I'm just gonna preserve the car for him. Do, you, so. do we think Kevin has it in him to preserve the car? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so Kevin's gonna preserve the car. I'm gonna do the second stint and try to bring it home. The rain might work in my favor. I'm a drifty, drifty kid. Yes. I have a lot of drift experience, um, but we'll see how it goes. My first laps since last year in a Crown Vic are gonna be in the race in the second stint. That's the only problem. I haven't done any practice. You wanna do qualifying then? I mean, I can figure it out on the first run. Like, yeah, that's kind of what I would, uh, yeah. You wanna do qualifying? Like, I'll just deal with it, whatever, and like. Nah, I figure I, I'll be fine. Okay. I'll be fine. You just give me some, info okay. before i go yeah because yep. everyone else is going to be in the same struggle yeah. you get on the radio with me too and i can I'll yeah i'm sure i'll figure it out and i think honestly we're better off being like third going into the final lap or two than first but i don't know if i could bring myself to it depends on how much of a gap you got like, yeah if you can put a gap on somebody yeah which is a kidney bean you might be able to yeah they don't run you over Exiting and bean. exiting the kidney bean. Yeah, like Kurt Busch did me last year. <laughs> I remember that very well. No, 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 no. Very vivid. All right, we're gonna drive this thing. We're gonna put stickers on. I'm gonna drive it under the thing over there. It's cold. It is very cold. Cold to be a Florida boy. We're gonna put our garage wheel code decals on. All right, we got our stickers on. These were left over from the uh, vet wrap. That's pretty cool. You can see it a lot better than I thought you'd be able to. It's a big sticker. It doesn't really fit without going onto the front door. And Kevin's got his. And it's our performance. We are ready to roll, hopefully not roll, ready to drive. Normally we like to paint these things and really personalize them, but uh, the rain kind of made that difficult. So we're not, we're not going that personal, just some stickers. All right, Kevin's going up for qualifying. They may have hurt the field, so. All right, Kevin. Qualified second. Yeah. Great effort. Yeah. Gonna keep the wheels under it. They're yeah. Probably gonna invert us somehow. Yeah. So I won't actually start second. I hope they don't invert it, because then I can just like yeah, try chill. And manage the pace. Yeah, manage, but we'll see. You got this. All right. Well, let's go do this. All right. Well, they decided to invert the field, so instead of starting there, we're starting there. So Kevin's got his work cut out for him to cut through the field and keep the car in one piece. Let's hope he can do both. I'm ready.
So Kevin was making some decent progress, taking it easy, trying to work his way through the field, and then all of a sudden the car started billowing smoke and he had to pull in. We, was, we were hoping we could fix it and get it back out, but the radiator was just taco. The radiator literally exploded. So fortunately there was a backup car. He jumped in that and we're back out on track. Let's see what we can do. Our, uh, unfortunately our car seems like a bit of a dud, our, our replacement. He's just getting absolutely demolished in the straightaway. Watch him come onto the straight. Watch the 24 car. Just demolished on the straightaway. He's doing everything he can in the corners, but he just doesn't like, he gained so much ground there. He gets a good exit here, and then the car just doesn't go anywhere. Oh, this is a good exit. So Kevin was doing an incredibly good job. You know, he was nailing the restarts. He was doing everything he could for the car that he had. You could tell the car didn't have much grip. It was real loose. And you could definitely tell that it wasn't running right. You could hear the difference of that car compared to some of the other ones. It just didn't sound great. And you could tell it was a little slow on the straight. So he's taking advantage of restarts, taking advantage of chaos, doing everything he can to improve positions and also, you know, basically maintain the car, make sure the car doesn't get completely thrashed because we still got a whole nother half of racing to do. So this first half, it's really about keeping the car in one piece and he's doing a good job of that. He's moving up, but every time he moves up, something happens and he ends up falling back down, you know, whether it's a caution or contact or something. He just doesn't have the best luck. Every time he gets up there, he gets kicked back down to the back and has to fight back through again. So after about 45 RU's minutes, uh, it's time, it's my turn. Uh, we're starting pretty far back. We've got a car that's not the best, but we're gonna make the best of it and do what we can and see how far we can get. All right, so it looks like they're gonna put us at the back because Kevin got a flat tire and had to pull off right as it ended. So I, I'm thinking we're gonna be stuck at the back. Seven's behind 46, which I don't know if that means you'll be outside or inside. All right, we'll have fun. I'll do our, my best for us. You get, you get freight trained on the straights. Yeah, I know. It's just the wrong gear. That's yeah. what it is. Like it doesn't wind out at all where it makes uh, it. Uh, it's not like getting towards a limiter. No, no, it ain't even close. No, the, the first car was, was the money car. So one thing that was different on this race is basically as soon as the leader goes, you can go and you can pass. Normally you have to wait till the start finish line to pass, but this time we were given the instruction that as soon as the leader goes, you can pass. So the, the start is where I need to be on it to gain the most positions possible. So I'm trying here to pick people off, gain position, and keep my nose clean, but man, I'm getting smashed from behind and trying to keep it together and just get out of the way. The car spins, I don't know which way to go, we go around. It's, uh, it's a little bit chaotic, but I'm trying to just race clean and get away from the person who just keeps rear-ending me because it, it's tough to race when someone's bumping you because you can't run your line. So. I know that it's better for me to go slow into this first turn, but I'm slow on the straights. I'm realizing that immediately. The car is making all sorts of weird noises. At this point, I'm thinking this thing's not gonna last 10 laps. It sounds 
bad. But I'm gonna do everything I can, try to just maintain momentum through the inside and see if I can keep up or move forward that way. So I'm playing that, that the yo-yo game where I gain the ground in the corners, I catch up, but then just once we get on the straight, I've got nothing for them. There's, there's not much I can do, but just try to capitalize on a mistake. So going into this restart, I know that I don't have the straight line speed, I don't have the power, and starting on the outside is not ideal. I'd honestly rather be starting in third. So I know I've got my work cut out for me to get through this restart and not get passed by everybody on the inside. So as soon as we go green, I jump in behind him, basically block the inside line with him. My opportunity to pass him is not going to be on the straight or on the restart with this car. It just doesn't have the pace to do it. My opportunity is going to be if he makes a mistake somewhere in here and I can get good drive out of a turn, get ahead of him, and then hold the inside line. So I'm trying to stick with him, trying to kind of us both pull away so we have that kind of margin for error to, to be aggressive and not have to worry about it. So I've got him in my sights. He gets a relatively mediocre corner exit. I get a decent exit. I'm thinking, okay, now's my chance. Use the nitrous, see if I can catch him on the straight. As soon as I hit the nitrous, the car starts running really bad. The check engine light starts flashing and we've got a worse running engine than before. So I can't use the nitrous. The car is running good again. I used the nitrous and uh, it started missing again. So we're down a cylinder. I'm hoping it comes back. I'm hoping we get our cylinder back. Oh, the check engine light went away. All right, no nitrous. Do not touch the nitrous. 
The engine's still, I feel like, not great, but better than nothing. So as we came into that corner, I pushed super wide. I put myself in a really vulnerable position and I'm lucky to have made it out of there alive. As we came onto the bank, the other driver got on throttle too early, presumably, and it got sideways and gave me a little bit of breathing space, but that was close. We can't let that happen again. It got so loose coming around this turn. I don't know if our tires are just wet and I gotta go slower into that turn after a caution, because. He was super loose too, we both blew the turn. So on the restarts, I'm kind of trying to play a little bit of games. I'm trying to push him around. Even though he's technically in charge, he's the leader, you know, I'm trying to speed ahead of him to keep him from trying to slow the pack down too much. I'm trying to keep him on the line I want to since I'm on the outside. I kind of have the opportunity to control that. I'm pushing him down as low on the bank as I can to give him minimal wiggle room. I have all the room on the outside if I need it, he's stuck on the inside. So. I'm doing my same plan. I know that this is the only way to get through the restarts and survive them is to let him get ahead. I even have to pedal it a little bit and then tuck in behind him, secure that inside line and hopefully get some clean racing laps so we can pull ahead and just wait on him to make a big mistake and capitalize on it. So that's our goal is just get behind him, get away from the crowd and try to capitalize when he makes a mistake. But we get another caution and every time we get a caution, I know that I am extremely vulnerable. This is the hardest part for me in this car with it not having good power and not having the nitrous. Everyone else is using nitrous on the restarts. They've got better power as, as a whole. So we're just, it's the worst case scenario, a restart, because it's all about getting that good jump in the straight line power. So coming into this one, he's starting to figure out my games. Third place is starting to figure out my games. So he tries to run me wide. He sees that I'm forcing him down. He starts trying to run me up. I hold my ground. It's like the slowest game of chicken ever. And we go into the restart. He gets a really early jump. He goes super early. I didn't get the best start and third place is next to me. And this is worst case scenario for me because I know as soon as I'm stuck on the outside, everyone's gonna come around me on the inside. There's way less grip and we just get swallowed up by two cars off the rip and I'm just trying to salvage what I can here. I'm getting hit from every direction and as we come onto the bank turn, I get bumped, I'm trying to hold it, I get bumped again and I spin and I'm like, this is gonna hurt, but drifting skills came in handy, pulled out, a full 360 kept going, but not without getting passed by literally everybody. We went from second to last in the matter of like one lap. Now, not ideal, but fortunately we're still on the lead lap. We can definitely pick our way through these people, bide our time, try to be cautious, uh, but man, definitely not the most ideal scenario. At least we saved it and didn't get plowed into. That, that was gonna hurt if it had gone wrong. Uh, but everyone's getting wild back here, so we need to pick our way through this as quick as we can.
So we get some clean racing in, I'm catching up, making my way through, and then out of absolutely nowhere, my car just completely shuts off, loses all power. And me being a dummy, I pull off to the inside thinking that, that we're racing. I didn't need to pull into the grass. I could have stopped on the pavement. But for me, the race is over. It's done. So we get towed off track and, you know, it's disappointing, but I'm like, you know what? We had a good run. I had a good time. We had fun. Uh, we did some good racing. We were up at the front. And as we get pulled off track, another couple cars come in for a tire change and we need to move my car, but it's stuck in park because it has no power. And Alex gets under the hood and realizes that the battery cable's just disconnected. He puts it back on, car fires right back up. But at this point, I'm already completely unstrapped, helmet off. It takes a while to get suited back up with the Hans, so it takes me a minute, but we do get back out on track. However, we are laps down, so for us, it's not necessarily over, but it's not great. All right, well, we're kind of back in the race. It was the battery cable popped off. So at this point, since we're laps down and pretty much everyone around us is laps down, we might as well just send it and have some fun. So unfortunately, even though we made up some ground, we just get sent right back to the back of the pack. So it doesn't matter how much ground we make up, we're gonna get sent back to the back of the pack, but we're still gonna try. I mean, why not? So this time we found ourselves all the way up in fifth place, though with some crazy maneuvers. Now I know it's hard driving, uh, but everyone's bashing into each other. You're just kind of, every, it's every man for themselves out there when you're towards the back of the pack like that, because you're either going to get smashed into or you're going to plow into somebody. <laughs> it's one of those things. So I already know the deal. They didn't even have to tell me. I just pulled off to the side, let everyone pass, fell back into position with the other lap cars, and uh, we're just going to see what happens from here. So at this point, race is pretty much over. Couple laps to go, we're in the back, there's no one around us. Let's see if we can link the track and drift this whole thing. I mean, we might as well. It's wet, you know? Give it a shot.
And there is the checkered flag. Race is over. What an eventful one. it the car is still running not bad for the hand we are dealt you know radiator blowing up on lap i don't know four five eight ten of the first stint getting a backup car starting in like 10th or 12th place worked it back up to second the car was misfiring from the start i guess someone drove this car for qualifying and took it back and got another car because they knew something was wrong with it so i'm pretty sure we were on seven cylinders that whole time uh, but I just, it didn't have the power to go around on the outside, but it was fun. Oh, Kevin's here. Perfect. Good job, Taylor. Thank you. What did uh, you for think? what you were given, like, this car was not good. If you didn't already say that in what you reported. At least if you say it too, it backs me it, up. It was not good. Yeah. Because yeah. if I say it, it's like, oh, excuses. Yeah, like, it was, it was not very good, so. No, it was, it I was, was shocked when you got up as high as you did and then it held it. I'm like, dang, his line is really good, so. I didn't have anything for him on the straights. But yep. I mean, the old girl's still running. You know, I can't knock her that hard. Yep. She just didn't like the nitrous. I had to stop using that. Yep. It had nitrous at least, but it ran, it went slower on. Dude, if you hit nitrous, if it sounded like two step, like you'd be like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's pretty nice. bad. Props to Nitto for making a tire that withstands that level of abuse. Yeah. Because we're understeering these things, sliding these things, smashing into things, and these tires take it like a champ. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Right? All right, I'm gonna drive this thing back to the pits. Top in. Oh, there's not even a handle there. Nope. We'll sit on the, all right, no, they probably won't. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Just taking a casual cruise. Woof. Look at how dirty this is out here. Oh, it was slick through here even when I was in, and then it got worse. Oh yeah, it got significantly worse. One thing I realized too, there was oil down in one and two, they mentioned it. Yeah. And you could feel it because me and Brian, like both just like overshot the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, there was, it was just ice. Yeah, so what happened there is the a bumper fell off a car. And uh, it ran over it. Ripped the oil cooler off. Well, it hit the transmission. Oh. Like split the oil pan open on the transmission. All right, well, we made it home. It is time to get back to work on the projects. Uh, we had our fun this weekend. What an awesome race. That was such a blast. Even though we're never able to seal the deal, I am so grateful to have Kevin as my teammate. He's just such a good teammate. I feel like we work so well together, and we generally are able to do pretty well. You know, we just... Something usually happens at the end. It kind of becomes luck of the draw those last few laps. Everyone's real hungry for it, and you never know what's going to happen. I'm really, really glad to see Zach and Ty won it. Both those dudes are awesome dudes. They didn't even know they were going to race in it until the last minute. They've been to all of these but not been able to race, and to see them, their first one, take the win. Like I couldn't think of a more deserving pair of people there to win uh, that race. So that was really cool. I mean, I, that made me really happy. So yeah anyway uh awesome race you know it, obviously some bad luck here and there the car break in and the backup car and whatever but i mean running around last in a crown vic at the freedom factory is better than you know any just about anything else you could do i am so grateful to be invited to these races and huge shout out to cletus and the entire freedom factory crew i mean they do a killer job putting these on i know it's a lot of work it's a lot of time it's a lot of money and I'm just grateful that they do it because it is such a fun experience. And shout out to all the fans that were there. I know the weather was rough and uh, I can't say thank you enough to you guys for sticking it out and uh, giving us someone to put on a show for. You know, that was awesome. It was so cool to see so many fans there in the stands sticking it out through that weather. And I uh, hope you had fun. So anyway. I could jibber jabber on and on, but I had a freaking great time. I had so much fun doing that. I love those races so much. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I sure hope to see you next time. Goodbye.